Hi guys, with every um, new desktop that we have, we always give you a video, build your own ISO. So any of our ISOs, you can build yourself, remove packages, add packages, it's up to you to decide and build. So Hyperlint is the next one I need to update. Um, maybe I should also point out that in here, we have also a new menu called Wayland, and we'll, we'll put the, the guys that are new special like uh, river is still in the pipeline and new wm and stuff like that they'll pop in there uh, pop up uh, we'll put it the list there so on our article B github all the guys are here right so sway is here hyperlint is here all the guys are here but it's simple you just follow the article this is an image and then you have videos first step is how to make your own Build your own ISO, right? How to make your own ISO for Hyperland. So we'll make this, this video that I'm making will be in here later on and later we'll install how to install Articlix B Hyperland. So what I do, do is go to the desktop. We've just made this particular ISO. Right mouse click, Control Shift V, enter. You've got all the data that you need. In here is the packages list. In the last video with uh, Sway, we looked up Vivaldi and we wanted them, those packages, to be on the ISO. And sometimes he will not show it, but I want Perl. There it is. So anything gray, not on the ISO. Anything colorful, on the ISO. So you can add more stuff to it if you say I want to have extra stuff or less stuff. It's just a hashtag in front of it if you do this right then it's not on gonna be on the iso and so on you know what all these packages are and you know if you need them or not pamac is a great tool pamac is coming from manjaro and have a look right what is in there do i really need it do i want it and so on so i'll not change anything in this video it doesn't really matter right it's choice and it's your choice and that's why we have the build your own ISO to have Google Chrome or Min or any of the 20 audio players and, and, and 20 video players. I mean, choose and say to the system number 40 and that's it. Not technical at all, at all. editing a text file, fine. And then a dot a slash 40 tap enter, that's it. And you walk away and let the machine do its work. And later on, we'll have in our home directory an Arclinks B out. Sway was previous video, and we'll have an Hyperlint later on. In two weeks' time, we'll release Sway and Hyperlint, but you can build them now. You can have them now. It's just do what I do, and you have it. So let's wait for the ISO to pop out. All right, the ISO has been built. Version number, size 2.4 gig, and this is what you get. Always check out if it was successful or not. It can happen that you forget to save the file, but if, if it's okay, it will be just in there. It will say, okay, this is on the ISO. And some other things will be removed by Calamars, right? So the dependencies of Calamars will go, if it's possible to go. All right, that's it. Now, next video, we'll try to install it in VirtualBox, which is not recommended, but good for me to record, of course.